This is a video tutorial for students, parents and carers um, on how to access Google Classroom and navigate around it. So you can access Google Classroom from going in the search bar at the top and typing it in there. But we also have a link on our Academy website. If you just scroll down um, to the right there, you'll see a link that says Google Classroom and you can just click straight on that. If it doesn't take you there automatically, um, you'll just have to sign in using your Wingfield email address, which will be your username at my.wingfields.org and your password. If you have any issues regarding your password reset, then you just need to go back on the Academy website and ask for a password reset and the IT team will get back to you as soon as possible. So this is what your um, home screen will look like once you're in Google Classroom and you'll be able to see all of your classes or all of your child's classes on here. Mine are all maths classes, but obviously your child's won't be. They'll have one for English, one for maths, one for science, etc. Um, first off, what I can see is that some have got some things below and some haven't. So I can see um, in the year 10 class, I've got something that's due today. So that's generally what I'd be looking for when I log on. What's due today? What's due at a later date? So I can prioritise those. So I can see I've got something in this class due today. I've got a couple of things in these classes as well and something down there. So I'm going to go through what now um, a classroom looks like, how to navigate around the classroom and then how to complete the assignments that teachers are going to be setting for you or your child. So if I go in one of my classrooms, for example, again, I can see on the left hand side what's due today. And here, this is called the stream. So anything that's posted will appear on this stream. It's a little bit like um, a Facebook feed where you can see everything that's going off. So I can see that Miss Sal has posted a question, a new assignment, another new assignment, and another one there. I can see some key messages. Good morning, today's the day, PPE results. Everything that's been posted is on that feed there. Some things have got videos attached, some things are just posts, okay? So now I've logged on, I'm in my classroom, and I need to know what I need to complete today. So there's three tabs at the top. Stream is what I'm on at the moment. If I go to classwork, then I'll be able to see what I need to do today. So clearly, signpost at the top, this week's learning. Today is Tuesday, so I've got a quiz, an assignment. I need to upload a photo. And it like, looks like there's some sort of question there that says, how many minutes did I spend working on the quiz today? You'll probably only have one of these in your classroom. But because they come in different formats... Um, I'm going to go through what each of them could possibly look like. So one type of assignment that you might be set by your teacher. Let's try this first one. A few notes on it. Remember, there's no questions on the online quiz. The questions are on today's slide. I'm just going to read carefully through those notes so I know exactly what's expected of me and so I don't get things wrong. If I click on the quiz, that'll open up a new tab um, and I can see I can start working through this. So lesson quiz, da -da -da, type in your name. And question number one, leave a single space between your answers. So I know exactly how I'm supposed to fill it in. For example, I'll just put some random answers in. Three, four, next one, four, six, one, two, five, seven. And then I'm going to keep going through answering all of those, clicking next at the bottom until I get to a page where instead of back and next there, it says submit. OK, so let's just get to that page. You'll see that each of these questions have got a star at the side of them. That's because I have to answer every single question before I move on. And then there, can you see clearly, submit. So response submitted, an assignment marked as done. So now I need to click on view score. And I can see how many I got right. I got them all wrong, actually. And then from there, I can close that because it's been submitted. 
close that as well because I've already completed it. That'll take me back to the classroom. So you'll see now that that one's grey because I've completed that, I've done it. Next one, another type of assignment that you might be asked to look at. Please complete the attached document. So when I click on view, this time I can see that something's already been completed for me. A pop-up comes up, it says hand it in. When you're ready to submit all your files for this assignment, remember to hand in. Okay. So your work, I've got a document here that my teacher's already uploaded for me. So if I click on that document, I can start typing in that straight away. So name, Miss Vickers. And in this instance, I've been asked to write a short summary about the origins of algebra. So if that's my task for the lesson, I'm going to spend an hour or however long my teacher's told me to spend researching origins or algebra and I can type that there. At any point, I can just quit off it and come back to it because it says here all changes are saved in Drive. So last edit was made seconds ago. Every single time I type something, it's saving it straight away. So if I've done with that now and I've typed everything that I need that's on there, I've got a full page of writing, then I can go to the top right and I must click so that my teacher can see what I've written, turn in. Handed in your work, one attachment will be submitted. Yep, I want to hand it in. If I want to write a comment here so all the class can see, I might write, um, I wasn't sure about this bit or I need help with this bit, I can write it there. If I want to send a comment directly to my teacher, I can click on private comments and just send the comment there instead. If I want to change anything at any point, I can unsubmit it and then resubmit. So once it's gone, it's not gone completely, you can still edit that, okay? If you want to log on and do bits, I'd recommend you hand in after you've done all of it though. So that's that one done. I can click X on that, that's sorted. Get rid of that one, we've just handed it in. And now you'll see that changes from hand in to unsubmit. So now let me go back to my classroom. And if I go back to the classwork tab again, that one's grey because I've done it. We've just done that one, so that one's grey as well. Next type of assignment. This one asked me to upload a photo. So there's no quiz there already. There's nothing here. I need to upload my own version of something. This assignment saying upload a photo. I'm going to go through uploading a document, uploading a PowerPoint, because I know you might have different things that you're actually doing your work on. So rather than there being something there for me already, if I click add or create and I can choose something that's on my Google Drive or I might just want something that's actually on my computer, in which case I click file. If I want to start typing from a new document straight away here and just do it that way, I can create a Google Doc or if I want it on PowerPoint, Slides, Excel, a sheet or a drawing. Okay, All my things that I've done are saved on my Google Drive, so I'm going to go to Google Drive. I'm going to find where I've saved them. So in my Google Drive, it's in my work. And then I've got a well-being photo, a well-being document and a well-being PowerPoint. And I want to add all of those so that my teacher can see them. You might only have to upload one of them, but it works in exactly the same way. A photo as a document, as a PowerPoint, it doesn't matter. Again, class comments or private comments depending on what I want to, uh, how I want to contact my teacher. Click hand in from there, because that's that done. Three attachments, yep, 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 hand in. So that's handed in. Now if I go back to my Google Classroom again, back onto the Classwork tab, one, two, three things completed, one more thing left over, View question. This is just a quick question that my teacher has typed to me and it says, Tuesday, how many minutes did you spend working on the quiz today? Well, I spent um, one hour and I can just submit that straight there. So that'll go as a class comment. Actually, what I could do if I want to answer the question directly is type in your answer there. I can just select one hour and click hand in. Submit answer, I won't be able to make changes, no problem. 
So actually, rather than commenting there, if I just get rid of that one, if I just delete that, rather than commenting so all the class can see, if I just comment up there, then that answers the question directly. Okay? So I can see in that classroom now, everything that was for this week is completed. I'd go back to that again tomorrow if I've got that lesson tomorrow and I'd work through whatever's there. So say I've done that in one classroom now, if I go back into the top left where those three horizontal lines are and I go to classes, I'll see that all the tasks I had for Miss Salah's lesson are now gone because I've completed all of them. So I'd go to my next classroom and I'd start completing other tasks. So my aim really for the end of the day is to make sure all of these are blank and I've got no outstanding assignments left. So that's everything on the tutorial. If you do need any more help at all and you're not sure, if you just contact the Academy um, and we'll give you a call or we'll respond via email and we'll help you out as soon as we can.